There are two primary methods of communication this species use, which are sound and vision. Dugongs use chirps, whistle, barks, and other sounds that echo underwater in order to communicate. Each sound has its own amplitude and frequency that characterize the signal, which implies a specific purpose in conveying aggressions or affection to other members of the species. The chirp script have frequency between 3 and 18 kHz and last for about 60 milliseconds. This chip squeak was observed in dugong foraging on the sea floor for vegetation and when patrolling territory. Bugs are used in aggressive behavior and thrills in movements that seem to be displayed. In order to hear the range of sound, dugong have developed exceptional hearing which they use more than their sight. Visual communication is a useful source of communication when dugongs are in close contact. During breeding season, males perform lacking behavior, a physical display in a specific location to draw in females with which to mate. However, they rarely communicate visually due to their poor eyesight. Instead, they use sounds and physical touch. Touch is another sense that dugong use in order to communicate. They have sensory bristles all over their body, including many on their lips, which help detect vibrations from their surroundings. This allow dugongs to forage more efficiently as they can sense the seagrass against their bristles. This is particularly useful as it complements their poor eyesight. Mother and calves also engage in physical communication such as nose touching and nuzzling that strengthen their relationship. Dugongs generally inhabit shallow waters remaining at depth of around 10 meters although they occasionally dive to depth of 39 meters to feed. These shallow areas are typically located in protected bays, wide mangrove channels, and in sheltered areas of inshore island. Dugongs are primarily herbivores, grazing on up to 30 kg of seagrass a day, and they eat during both day and night. Seagrass beds consisting of Phanerogamous seagrasses, their primary source of nourishment. Besides, they prefer seagrass that are low in fiber, high in available nitrogen, and are easily digestible for better nutrient absorption. Dugongs use their flexible sensitive bristles on their upper lip to rip up entire grasses plants. Their muscular lips help them suck up large quantities of food at a time. If the entire plant cannot be uprooted, they rip off leaves. Before eating the seagrass, the dugong will shake its head to eliminate the sand in the grass. Their grazing leaves distinctive furrows in the seagrass bed that can be detected from the surface. Less commonly, they will consume algae when the seagrass cannot be found. In a nutshell, dugong has their own unique behavior in terms of communications and foraging just like other animals do. They also have excellent hearing and touch sensing despite of their poor eyesight as their adaptation to communicate with other similar animals as well as for feeding activity. Tell me pretty lies, look me in the face
Tell me that you love me.